Hey everybody, Kelly from Carcraft Auto Repair. Uh, quite a bit uh, at the shop here. We get quite a few customers uh, on the on the regular here with uh, warp brake rotors, and uh, not a lot of people understand exactly what that means and, and what it means for their vehicle. So I thought I'd just take the time out, do a quick little video here on uh, on basically what it looks like, what it feels like, and uh, you know I got my truck here behind us, and uh, I'm basically just going to go through uh, the quick explanation and a little bit of little bit of technical information on uh, basically on what that means. So. Um, yeah, let's go ahead, let's check it out. All right, so here we are on a road test. Nice, beautiful, rainy day today. So what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna get the brakes up to temperature a little bit. Uh, you know, just do a few normal brake applications, you know, drive it around for a little while just to get the brakes up to temperature. Sometimes the, the rotors won't feel warped when they are cool. So what we're gonna wanna do, like I say, get them up to temperature and then we'll go ahead and we'll get it up to speed and we'll just do a few brake applications. All right, so here we go. So I got stuck at the red light there. So let's go ahead and we'll get the vehicle up to speed. For me, I'm gonna do about, you know, right around 80 kilometers. So right around 50 miles an hour or so. And then what I'm gonna be looking for here is we're gonna be looking for that shaking in the steering wheel. So we're gonna go ahead, we'll get up to speed here and I'm gonna go ahead and brake it. And there you go, you can see my wheel wobbling. Uh, that's basically, that's what, exactly what it is we're looking for. I'll go ahead and do that one more time here. We just wanna get a quick second. One other thing that you can do to add is you can find yourself a nice, uh, you know, gradual downhill or even a steep hill. That will definitely uh, get the brakes up at temperature and show the, the warp as well. Go One more time. We're just going to go ahead and just go down the hill here a little bit. Now, the one thing you're not going to see, which I can definitely feel, is the, also the pulsation in my brake pedal. Uh, you would definitely feel that as well, but unfortunately I can't show that very well on the camera. So let's go ahead here, let's just do this one more time and let's go ahead and here look at the steering wheel as I'm applying the brakes. So now that we have a pretty good understanding of what the symptoms are like inside the vehicle, let's have a quick look at this animated cutout here. So on the left, we have a good uh, true running rotor. On the right there uh, shows one with some run out or some warp essentially. And also, right after this, it's going to show one with uh, parallelism, uh, basically high and low spots in the rotor. Uh, sometimes when the brakes get hot, it will transfer some of the pad material onto the rotor and it builds up and then it gets a high and low spots. Uh, third here, we have a scored brake rotor, basically meaning that we have now gone to 0% brakes and the metal backing plate is now scored uh, or you know grinding into the rotor, uh, in which case it would need to be replaced. So once we've had a look at the vehicle and made a decision on which way we're going to do the repair we have two options so here we have uh, you know a brand new set of brakes so we have rotors pads uh, you know everything clean service and replace ready to go new uh, obviously that's uh, the one option or we have uh, the other option here um, of machining the brake rotor as long as it's within uh, thickness specification so uh, we can put it onto the brake lathe uh, and uh, cut that rotor basically smooth uh, true and um, a free of any uh, vibration so uh, that is also another option there so uh, basically that brings us to the end so uh, you know I'd like to thank you very much for watching and hopefully you uh, learned something today about uh, brake rotors and uh, your brake system there and what the warping might mean so uh, thanks again